I work at Headspace one day a week, so um, with Carlton we have one day off. So generally a Tuesday I'd um, go in and see, see clients there and Headspace have been really um, supportive and encouraging with me, um, helping me with sort of supervision and um, getting a good client load and um, making sure that they're clients that are, that are also flexible and able to see me on Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever day it might be. Straight out of school I wanted to go to uni but I was a bit unsure about what I wanted to do so I tried um, occupational therapy for a, a few weeks really before I found out that it wasn't me um, but within that degree I, there was a, a psychology elective um, so I didn't finish first year of OT and then transferred into psychology. There was a lot of research demonstrating that those struggling with their sexuality or to identify with their sexuality are um, up to four times more likely to be depressed or anxious and as a result be more likely to um, think about suicide and um, obviously if you're dealing with those sorts of issues it'd be really important to go and see a psychologist. I think it's sometimes um, hard to recognise the, the role that uh, that you might have as a role model within AFL because so much of your time is spent within the club. It's quite an insular environment. I know other players have said the same and um, sometimes you might feel uncomfortable getting up and talking about things that you think are important. AFL footballers in particular can shed light on topics that um, otherwise might not receive some attention.